Every Saturday evening during the summer season, the Donald Pipe Band in the Scottish Highlands treat the public to a free performance of stirring Scottish music. These sandstone buildings have echoed to the sound of the pipes for generations, and it should come as no surprise that I was inspired to capture this spectacle for my Spirit of the Highlands collection. The scene presented many challenges. After all, I wanted to include the famous Donald Cathedral, the street full of pipers, the seasonal lights, the crowd, and most especially the tower of the Dornock Castle Hotel itself, with the lone piper in place high up in the turret. For all this to be captured, it is necessary to move one's head through a sweep of 180 degrees. However, perspective works on the principle of a fixed viewpoint. As soon as one moves one's head, angles change, and vanishing points move. The wide road itself could have been a compositional nightmare of empty space. However, I chose a wet night so that the road surface could be filled with reflections, pools of liquid colour. Proportions too had to be adjusted, so that the large buildings of the foreground did not dominate. The solution didn't come easily in spite of many abandoned drawings, yet I was determined to make it work. I returned time and time again to my sketchbooks over a four year period when finally one day the composition fell into place. Once I had the outline drawing, I realised this was it, and so it began. My aim with this painting was to capture the atmosphere of this festive highland scene. To do this, I needed to include the viewer in the scene and exploit the symmetry of the composition to draw the viewer's gaze through a series of triangular shapes that move towards the centre of the painting, each filled with pools of light. The brightly lit moon against the rich midnight blue sky, along with the golden glowing street lamps, drenched the entire scene. I was in my element, light being something that gives me great joy in painting. Spotlit against the dark sky, the impressive Dornock Cathedral does not dominate. Although featuring a multitude of architectural details, it provides a foil for the brightly lit clock face and light on top of the ornate fountain. Seasonal lights in the trees add to the spider's web tracery of the fine tree branches. Below, two dark backlit figures break up the golden triangle of reflected light on the pavement and lead our eye to the pipers. Band members are dark against the bright buildings behind, yet each figure is portrayed in detail in their splendid outfits and silver dress sporans. Onlookers are in a festive mood. Spot the figures carrying sparklers, the party goers in jester's hats, others rushing to join in. And finally, the lone piper himself, Pipe Major Willie Fraser. Note how the buildings beneath him are brought out in slightly different light than those all around. This is deliberate to lead the viewer's eye upward to where he stands in the turret, caught in his own spotlight against the night sky. Now to see the painting in a start to finish reveal, to show the 17 main stages that transformed it from the initial drawing to the finished oil painting. But first, a taster of Dornock Pipe Band performing on one of the Saturday evenings in Dornock Square, led by Pipe Major Willie Fraser, whose lawn piping signals the beginning of the new year at Hogmanay and also the end of the summer season.